This is the Chronoswiss Flying Regulator Open Gear. Uh, it's actually been released earlier in 2018, earlier this year. Um, Chronoswiss are celebrating their 35th anniversary and just five years into its history it started making regulator watches. And regulator watches have now become part of the DNA of Chronoswiss. They probably make more regulator models than, ever, than, than anybody else. In terms of the, the watch, um, what we're looking at here is um, a 41mm case, stainless steel. Uh, this particular one's with a blue dial, but they offer various colours. They also offer a rose gold option as well. If we look at the dial, the first thing that I'll point out is the leaf shaped hand. This is the mini hand, it's dominant, basically, regulator watches we use to uh, as a reference point for synchronising. Uh, other clocks or watches. So regulator clocks were very popular in the past. Um, now we have more uh, electronic means of synchronization. But it is a genre of watch that has become quite popular. If you look at the top of the dial, we have what's called a funnel type display. The internal walls of the hour track slope inwards and it's suspended above the dial surface and there are actually other dial components that sit beneath that hour track. The hour hand is shown with just here and it's actually again a leaf shape and it's luminescent again. You can actually see two small bridges in, in silver coloured bridges, one here and one here. They're retained with uh, blued screws. Uh, one actually uh, sits um, just below the, the other hand and holds in position a wheel and that basically that wheel is connecting to another wheel here which in turn connects to the hour wheel at the center of the dial so how these trio of wheels moving the hour hand one of the beauties of this arrangement is that it, it confers depth it creates a little bit of interest if you actually look here we've got the small seconds display and it just sits below the hour track, so it's just slightly lower. And you've got a red, uh, which, uh, red hand, which is quite prominent, indicating the seconds. And um, beneath that, we've got a wheel visible. And one of the things about this watch is it shows many components that are ordinarily hidden from view. The chapter ring, circling the dial, is marked with little white dots every five minutes, and also. Uh, we've got little white strokes as well. And as I say, it's, the readability of the dial is actually very good. This particular watch also upholds the design language that we've seen on other Chrono Swiss models. So if you turn the watch to the side, we've got the highly polished bezel here, but then we've got this vertical satin brush, and this is something that you see on quite a lot of the Chrono Swiss models. We've also got this knurling. Uh, motif or this null motif just on the, the side of the bezel and the case band. You've also got these lugs and one of the things about these lugs is the straps held steadfast with these screws. Um, it's a very very secure um, qualitative means of, of uh, holding the strap and the, and the lug together. You've got the onion crane uh, which is very nicely detailed, it's uh, fluted. The thing about the onion crown is that it's not too big, it's not intrusive, so it doesn't gauge the wrist or chafe the wrist, um, but it also facilitates ease of movement. You can manipulate the, the crown very easily. Turning the watch over, the first thing we see is that it's an automatic watch. It has a blue oscillating weight, it's like a galvanic treatment on it. Um, underneath that, because it's open worked, we can actually see some of the bridge work beneath the oscillating weight and also to the sides. And you can see that it's adorned with pearlage. It's actually what I would term petty pearlage. It's a small form of the pearlage motif. Uh, ordinarily, if you look at a lot of watches, they have a, a larger version. You can also see just here a little bit of the, the ratchet wheel, just visible. Um, and obviously below that there will be the spring barrel. You've also got the balance here, and the, the balance basically has a curb adjuster on it, an index adjuster, 
to make the watch go faster or slower. What I particularly like is just this little flange area here, because it almost sort of because it's sink, it sort of sinks down slightly to where the movement is. It guides the, the eyes towards movement. It's, it's a little bit like a, an amphitheatre almost. It, it's a sense of occasion when you look at it. Um, this comment might sort of single me out as a bit of a geek, but uh, uh, I hold my hands up, I am a geek. <laughs> uh, if you also look at the strap, it's Louisiana Alligator, um, it's in blue, and it also comes with um, a deployant. So you can just see it there, it's nicely grained. Everything feels very well put together, and it has a quality feel. I've worn the watch for a few days. I uh, absolutely love it. I do have a bit of a soft spot for Chrono Swiss. I've yet to find one of their models uh, that I don't like. I've worn several now. And uh, it's a fantastic watch.